Do you hate your job? Do you like the anime Agretzko? Well, if either of those things apply to you, then I have the perfect game for you, because today on Joker Reviews, we're going to be reviewing Agretzko. Mechanically, the Agretzko card game is very simple. All you're trying to do is take your three work tokens and flip them over and turn them into karaoke tokens, because you don't want to be at work anymore, you want to party. So, how do you do that? You do that in a series of turns that's broken down into three steps. One is you draw a card. You can either draw it from the face up discard pile or you can draw it from the face down pile. Then the next step would be playing sets or sequences. So this is a set where it's three of the same number and this is a sequence where it's three of the same color in order. Then your third step would be to play office cards. So office cards are things like overtime, make any player of your choice draw two cards, Everyone hands one card to the player to their left. That's for meeting. Sick day makes everybody skip a turn. So they have a bunch of different effects, but you have to play them at the end of your turn. Let's walk you through a turn. So you draw a card. We drew this 10. And then you would play your sets and sequences. You don't have to if you're not able to, but you're really trying to get rid of all of your cards. So by getting rid of all your cards, that's how you're going to flip over your token. So you want to get them out of your hand. So let's say we want to play these. This is your shared workspace, so this is where you're going to play them, and you can manipulate the cards that are here however much you want. Doesn't matter who played them, who made the sets. But the only stipulation is you have to have at least three cards in every set or sequence. So, what are we going to do? We're going to try and get as many cards out of our hand as possible. So, let's say we're looking at this one. We're going to take this one apart. We're going to pair it with these three twos, or these two other twos that we have in our hand, so that makes a set of three. We're going to take these threes out, and we're going to pair it with this three that was already on the board. And then we're going to take this one, and we're going to pair it with these other two ones that we have in our hand. So we've gotten rid of now six cards... And we still have all of the sets and sequences. There's only one sequence now, but all the sets have at least three cards. What else do we have in our hand? We have a calm card. This functions as a wild card. It can be played in place of any blue card. So we don't necessarily need it right now, but if we wanted to get rid of it, we could play it on any of those, and then that set now has four instead of three. We might want to say, oh, well, that 10 is on the board. We can take these two 10s and pair it with that one, and then we have another set. But what happens in that case is there'll only be the 11 and 12 left, so we wouldn't be able to leave that sequence there with only two cards in it. Once you are able to play through all of your cards, and we're just going to find an example. That's perfect. Once you're able to play through all of your cards, so we got a Rage Wild card that can pair with the 10s, you have gotten rid of all your cards, and you can flip over one of your tokens. Once you've done that, you take all the cards up, shuffle them all up, deal out the number of cards according to the amount of players that are playing, and you play another round to see who gets a token. You're going to play until one player has all three of their tokens flipped over, and then that's your winner. Now that you know how to play the game, I'm going to meet you back up top and talk about my thoughts on the game. Now for my thoughts on the game, let's start a little bit from the components and box perspective of the game, then we'll move into the mechanics of it. I like the size of the box, it's very shelf friendly, also the game is table friendly when you lay out all of the components. The artwork is nice on the cards, I like the, the characters that are on there, I like the artwork on the tokens. The cards are nice and easy to read, the numbers are really clear. I do not like the rule book. I hate those rule books that are kind of like those fold out like map shaped things that you just kind of have to fold out and lay flat on the table like give me a real book that's all i want i just want an actual rule book it's in the name in terms of the actual gameplay of the game it's one of those games that can somewhat overstay its welcome i like the mechanic of being able to manipulate the shared workspace where everybody plays cards and you can kind of use everybody's cards in order to play whichever ones that you want but because the game is so luck based on when you draw what and who has what and things like that it can kind of take a really long time even if you're really close to winning at any point during the game you could be down to one card and then all of a sudden you have three turns in a row where you draw a card that's 
that's not related to the card you have and it matches nothing on the shared workspace and then all of a sudden you're back to square one again. There's also the fact that there's no hand limit in the game or at least there's not one that's specified in the rule book so a player can just kind of hoard their cards and hold on to it and not play anything until they're ready to drop down a whole bunch of them which is a great strategy in terms of winning the game but it also makes it harder to actually play the game how it's intended. It gives you a lot less to work with in the shared workspace and you end up running through the deck really quickly and then reshuffling everything and then it kind of sets you back to square one like anything that you were planning gets kind of messed up and because that's the most effective strategy to playing the game honestly after playing it a fair amount i think that the game doesn't ever really play how it's intended to play the time that it supposedly takes to play the game is supposed to be 30 minutes but it can take a long time with three or four players we've played upwards of an hour and a half to almost two hours just because if one person wins one game and then the next person wins another game and then another person wins the next game then you're kind of waiting for somebody to finally hit that three token limit with four players you could end up playing nine games before somebody finally flips over all three tokens and that's just a really long time to be playing this kind of game so that's what i mean by it overstays his welcome a little bit i will say it's really easy to teach to somebody else you can teach it in like five minutes and it's really easy to understand how to play the game really quickly so it's something you could pick up and play with pretty much any type of company but i'm not sure how long you're going to want to play the game when it lasts as long as it can sometimes i'd probably give it about a five out of ten and it really only gets that high just because i like the artwork and i like the ability to manipulate things in the shared workspace which is kind of a cool mechanic if you like what you saw here today please hit that like button leave a comment down below what game do you think overstays its welcome a little bit after you've played it for a while subscribe to the channel if you want to see more game reviews in the future and hit that notification bell so you know what's up and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys